Hello and welcome back to the Mobius Archives. This is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing the Refugee to Regent Challenge using Feed the Beast Infinity mod pack plus a few mods or a lot of mods, whichever. Um, oops. Yeah, let's get out of uh, in front of me mode. So if you can see, I'm over here on this little island here. Um, right outside our Lovely. This is actually a great view for our place. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, building a uh, a lighthouse here. I think it'd be great. Um, not that it's terribly purposeful. Um, you would crash into the rocks here, but we don't really have an ocean around. But uh, yeah, why not? Build a lighthouse here. However, that's not this episode. Uh, this episode, I am going to actually head back in into the forest. Uh, I've been gathering a lot of stuff. Uh, I tried recording this episode before, um, and I actually got almost all the way through it, and then my machine crashed, and my world got corrupted, and I lost everything. Is that really a creeper? Uh, uh, maybe not. It doesn't seem to be reacting like a creeper. No, it's a creeper. Okay, I don't know what was going on there. I thought I did. Oh. I thought I did kill him, but yeah, hide there. No, I want to kill you. Come on. Uh, where'd you go? Damn it. Did I lose that thing? Oh, uh, yeah, I lost that thing. Um, anyway, uh, I had originally tried recording this and, um, it seemed to work fine. But uh, then I had a machine crash. And I mean, this is like a full-blown uh, Windows dying machine crash. I record on Windows, if you guys want to know. Um, but um, yeah, and that killed everything. I mean, absolutely everything. So we lost uh, all the recording. We lost all the recording, all the building that we did due to the uh, world corruption. Uh, it was just... Oh, that's what was making that noise. You got to trade with me? You're not my friend yet. Yeah. Um, so we lost uh, all the recordings, all the uh, building that we did. So I'm really terribly short on time now. Woo! Lag. Um, so I'm going to try to get something out that we can do. So this might be more, um, less of a building episode. I'm probably going to do more of it off camera than I normally do. Where is that? Um, and try to get you guys a peek before I actually release the episode. Yeah, because it'll be a quick peek, because it'll be the morning of the bloody episode uh, that I record it. Um, but anyway, I'm going the wrong way. How does... Where am I? There's my path. Alright, I'm actually following a path here. Um, and grabbing food along the way, because that seems to be a crisis point right, for me right now. Um, but there is this path here that I got distracted with going over there. And there's, there's a nice little tunnel here. I dug it from the other side. So if you're wondering why the supports aren't right there, I dug it from the other side. I also ran out of wood while doing it. Um, it's all nice and empty. I'll meet you guys on the other side. The tunnel's not as long as look. It's just not loading in. There we go. And there we go. So... Through the mountain. I'll need a bridge here eventually. Uh, this path all leads up to our... This path, and I want to talk about that stuff soon. All leads up to our um, airfield. Uh, and I want that. Now this, this, this... Is something I've been looking for for ages. Cinnamon. 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 Um, we need that for a bunch of recipes, so if you... Take a look at what you can use cinnamon for. There we go. You can use cinnamon for a lot of things. In this case, three. Eggnog, baklava, making a cinnamon sapling, which is very important, and custard. And turning it into ground cinnamon. Ground cinnamon, on the other hand, can be used in eight recipes. And I needed that for, yeah, sweet potato pie. Hmm. Plus walnut raisin bread, meaning our walnuts that we're gathering can be useful. If I had raisins, which I don't. But I do have zucchini, so I can make zucchini bread. Mm. Fruit crumble, which is a nourishing meal versus a nourishing light meal. Hmm. Hmm. Tempting. Because I can make butter, I think. Yeah, so basically better food. 
uh, can be had with a good chunk of cinnamon. And now we can make a cinnamon tree. Now this stuff, trodden dirt. Um, I'm starting to use this for the paths to our outliers. Um, my original path home was going to be up here and over this ridge as opposed to through the woods. Um, but I decided that deviated a little too much. So trodden dirt. Trodden dirt is uh, interesting. It's, um, I need something first before we do that. So trodden dirt. Um, so basically, A, it looks really nice. It gives you a slightly faster movement speed, like a roadway. It's introduced by Batania. And something that you need to actually make it is some of this dry dirt. So you just need three of them, three dry dirt, and some sand, and you make trodden dirt. And you walk a little bit faster on this, uh, similar to how the, uh, the roadway, the, the road is, but it's less um, tedious to make. So I'm thinking um, Brownstone Road. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, so it's very similar to Brownstone Road. Um, it's less tedious to make because it's just dirt and sand. And why aren't you loading in? There we go. A night enemy. All right, but we are actually finally, finally at our airfield. Um, I'll just sleep the night away and be back with you guys in a second. All right, there we are. Bright, new, and refreshed. All right. So just heading out to our little airship. Um, it is a blimp. It has suffered the ravages of time and shifting uh, mood of uh, of Archimedes ships. And it needs a little bit of repair. Um, it needs a lot of repair, actually. And this is not what I'm looking for. But I always find when you have this this area, area in particular interesting because it's not the one this error is not the one that'll uh automatically fix itself if you walk over it this one you kind of like fall through the world type stuff oh we have a nice ravine down there you get to see cheaty stuff through the world uh or berries right over there or experience or berries oh more down there huh Tempting. Tempting to go and dig it all out. But we won't. Well, at least not right, not yet. Um, so yeah, I'm looking to make... Oh, I'll be right back. This is kind of bugging me. There we go. Everything seems to be loading in now. Alright, so, you might be seeing that I am right next to a taint bomb, but we do have um, a barrier. And keep us safe, assuming we don't approach those uh, taint hives too closely. We do have a barrier of... Um, Ethereal blooms, we grab those from the, uh, the Rainbow Forest. Oh, and there's, is that the, um, I think that's a spider hive. Anyways, well, we're pretty well protected here. Uh, assuming no, um, sheep come along and get themselves killed by the taint. Um, not gonna wonder about the, uh, chocobos who are flying about in there. They don't seem to be dying, so that's okay, I guess. Tainted chocobos. That's a mod for you. All right. So, coming back. Um, so this thing is beat up. Uh, I kind of want to have an area where we can go ahead and refit the bloody thing without making a full-on hanger for it. Oh, I want my chocobos back. I want Chobi back. The mother of chocobos. Um... Yeah, so we want to have a nice little refit place. So the reason why I removed all the grass here is because if you mount the ship. Um, if you try to land in grass, so if I just go down here and go like that and try to unmount the ship, it'll say I can't disassemble there. That's because the ship is actually trying to occupy the same space and time as grass. Now there we go. We're off of the grass. Just like that. Uh, I want this area here to be distinguished enough um, to let us know that this is where we can land or where we should aim for landing. Um, obviously, there's going to be a little bit of a uh, grace room um, just so that we can um, land anywhere the hell we want. Um, Archimedes ships, if you notice here, there's assemble ship and mount ship. If you assemble ship, uh, mount ship. It will actually try to take anything connected to it 
that is of a certain block type. So if I just go up a bit, dismount. So it's not taking dirt, which is fine, but it will take stuff like, I think it'll take logs. So it'll try to take that log if we assemble and mount again. I have to go up instead of down. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We took that log. Uh, we don't want that. But we do want this to be an area where we can refit the ship, um, refit the air balloon, repair it, fix those balloons up as we need to. So if you try to mount it after removing a block, it becomes in inconsistent. So you have to as assemble it and mount it. And sometimes it doesn't line up with the blocks you think you land on. Um, didn't in this case, but sometimes it does. So I'm probably going to have to have a utility building here um, where we can have chests and stuff like that. That's so we can keep a few things on hand as our empire grows. For now, we won't even build the building. Uh, I need ink sacks. I need wool. And I need birch wood. So first things first, to give us a little bit of a buffer, there's these things called shore buffer, and I have them wrong. So floaters are made up of wool and logs. Oh, is it only... Whoa. It's only oak wood and acacia wood. That's kind of weird. I'll accept it, but it's really kind of weird. Yeah, I thought it would have been any log, but apparently it's not. So we need to get some oak wood instead of that. Fortunately, we have a nice little forest back there. Hell, I can even remove this tree, but I kind of like it. Kind of like that tree. Yeah, let's grab a different one, something that's deeper into the woods. Um, just so that we don't have to worry about replanting. That's dark oak. Oh, I almost killed that pig. Sneaking up on me like that. I should have recognized it from the stompy sounds, but... Alright, we respectfully thinned the forest. Uh, just took a few trees out of there. In a place where they don't look like they would have been missed. Oh, nice. Place to fall. You could see the old path that I had here. Let's just take a look at Journey Map. Just as a distraction for us. You could see the old path that I had here with just those uh, path stones. Uh, it actually went through the forest and eventually came back around here and went through this area. This area is the Eldritch Biome. That used to be the, um, the Garden Biome. Um, it's kind of, well, haunted now. Uh, so we don't play with that. <laughs> um, that's why we built the blue wall here. I'm going to have to build more walls. Um, I haven't figured out how to make a, a nice harbor wall, but maybe if I just extend the wall out there, and maybe if this is going to be our lighthouse, we'll do something on this side. I don't know yet. But uh, the road we have is going straight through here through this part here, that's the mountain, and it's going to come out and pretty much line, line up right up here with this trodden dirt path. So we've only got like a quarter of the way through. All right, it's getting night again. So I wanted to make some of these uh, shore buffers. We have 34 floaters. Floaters help, um, I think they help with boats. I don't think they help with airships. Um, let's grab all those. Yeah, and shore buffers are basically this, it's basically one of those blocks that your ship can't pick up. So if you had, um, like a, a nice dock, and you wanted to dock with that, sh uh, and you want to dock with that dock, uh, with, and be able to, um, assemble your ship, shore buffers are the things to, things to use. Uh, so if I did that, it should not, so if I assemble the ship, melt the ship, it should not take on that shore buffer. It left the shore buffer down there. Now, whether it will let us land there or not, it does not, uh, is a different thing. Also, the ship destroys grass, so as you can see in there, it's all very unattractive now. I could actually put the make the entire place shore buffer, or we can do something else. Uh, right now, I'm going to do something else, because we can make shore buffers later. 
I'm thinking what we can do is just get a few of these. I'm going to make some scaffolds. Here we go. Scaffolds. 36 of them. Now I think we need to get this um, nicely distanced, but not too far off. Alright, that's a nice solid looking set of scaffolds. I'm also out of scaffolds, so that's convenient. Um, what I want is something that looks more like a crane. So maybe I need to walk, black this off a couple more. Uh, give the scaffolds a little bit more distance. Um, and give them a solid piece. Uh, maybe something like this, right? Um, and then we can use scaffolds to come over here. This will connect to scaffolds. Um, but this shore buffer will prevent us, uh, from connecting up. That allows us to at least get on the bloody balloon. Yeah, why not? Let's, uh, let's use a couple shore buffers. No, we can't land then. Huh. Nice thing about, uh, the scaffolds at the, is that they're really easy to, uh, tear down. If you don't like where they are, you can move them. Place it. One more. There. So now we can go about and fix... Uh, any problems that we have with this, uh, we could create another crane on the other side. Basically create a type of uh, dry dock situation so that we can actually work on our vehicles as we need to. Make another one like that. Uh, so it's three away. And there we go. We can work on the balloon from either side. That seems to work for me. I kind of want a torch. I don't have any torches on me. I must put it in a chest somewhere. Figures. I want a torch for a little bit of light, uh, just to keep the creepers and whatnot off uh, the dock. The dry dock. Um, there we go. That looks alright. A little bit of a dry dock. Uh, this will allow us to do a nice little bit of refitting or repairs. A refitting being where we actually take some of these chests off. Uh, we'll need to build a nice little building here, and of course, a couple hangers for larger airships maybe even make a bigger dry dock just so that we can have larger airships so this could be our balloon dry dock and maybe even yeah i'm liking the idea of making a larger dry dock maybe one that's not just um this stuff up but having uh like a permanent dock um that's wider kind of want to get it mobile so maybe having I like the look of this because it's open and I'd want to have it two down um you can't actually place these blocks even unless you have an extra block between them but something like this um no I can't do that right huh huh well there's some solutions that we need to figure out I think I'll do it off camera well, the insanity of the blue... Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, don't smash windows with a pickaxe, children. When you're at home, you're going to break stuff. The insanity of the blood moon is letting up. And we have actually finished up uh, our dry dock for larger airships. And specifically, ouch, airships. Uh, because that's the type of things that I like. Let's just swing over. You could see some remnant mobs here that are burning away lovely uh in our area i cleared out all the grass and stuff in this area flattened it out i left that um if you see right down there where i'm pointing there's a little cave system under there that i want to explore and investigate and apparently i didn't finish putting up some stuff there i have some more scaffolds uh slow delayness coming on um and a creeper well, we could always land on a scaffold. It's just, oh, hello, stuff that's not dying during the day. Eh. Well, this is actually not too bad. We can actually shoot, shoot some stuff, get rid of them. Oh, if I'm not hitting like major delays during Minecraft, aim a bit higher. Actually, hit some stuff. And what? Oh, damn, I'm out of arrows. Alright, we need to make this place safe. Creepers! 
dodge the arrows. I didn't even see this guy shoot. That was weird. Oh, because it wasn't that guy that shot. It was you. Ow. Oh, he swatched. Oh, I didn't realize that. The, uh... Knights or whatever. Dark knights or fallen knights or whatever. They switch to swords when they get close. That's nice. I never noticed that before. Anyway, we have... Nice little dry dock system here. You can imagine, put your imagination to the test, that you could have a nice large ship here being retrofitted, uh, refitted, and or built uh, down here, like I said. Let's just get in there. A uh, nice little cave system that I want to explore, I just haven't had the time to do so. And our current airship, the balloon, has been fixed, finally. Am I picking up? Our airship has been fixed, finally. And uh, it's actually looking pretty good. It's clean. It flies. Uh, I moved some of the chests around. It's perfect. So this is... Whoop, except... Whoa! Ow! <laughs> I thought I had my hang glider on there. I don't know what just happened. I thought I had my hang glider on there. I had a fence. That was weird. Um, let's fly this time. Woo. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's actually it for today. Uh, I need to get this, uh, edited and recorded, and we're backing out of our airship dock and taking a fly past. Uh, let's fly over the, uh, the taint, but, uh, for now, this has been Mobius Rex from the Mobius Archives. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave us a like. Here's your comments and suggestions. Back with you next time. Have a good day and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.